Jump de jump jump jump. Ah, oh, milk. Nature's way of saying, me likey. Hey, in case anyone cares, we're out of milk. Cats like milk, but cats can't buy milk without getting carded. We could always wring out your furry, milk-drenched upper lip. All right, I confess. I'm the dairy delinquent, the Mujus marauder, the creme de la creme of calcium criminals. Do with me what you will. All right, I'll bite. What could possibly be more interesting than watching my outrageously cute kitty antics? Ooh, this is a thrill ride. What's next? The watching paint dry triathlon? Snail wrangling? Ooh, ooh, a C-SPAN marathon. <sighs> it's our assignment for biology class. We have to hatch a chick. But the little cluckster won't show. Hmm. It's been days and we have an impending date with the Zombie Brothers that we cannot miss. They've got tickets to Wicca Palooza. You haven't moshed till you've moshed with guys whose body parts fly off when they slam dance. Chick, you say? As in future chick N? As in last name Ketchatory? As in moi? You lay one paw on our homework and it's a one-way ticket to Flea Bath City, Fuzz Farmer. Sheesh, like I care about a lowly egg. If anyone needs me, I'll be watching my favorite show, The Eggs Files. <laughs> Funny cat. Uh, oh, morning, girls. Uh, I've kind of got my hands full with Salem's little April Fool's Day uh, prank. <laughs> I'm still laughing. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Uh, listen, would you make sure Sabrina's up? She's got a dentist appointment. All over it, Uncle Quig. Waking up grumpy preteens is something we live for. Thank you. I'll use the internome system. Sabrina, honey, time to wake up. You have a dentist appointment. Ah! Oh, Sabrina, honey, it's time to wake up. You have a lousy dentist appointment. Uh, by the way, uh, Hilda didn't really say lousy dentist appointment. I just added that because I'm a bitter, bitter gnome. Man, I have got to get a clock radio. Now! Yeesh, something is rotten in Tusylvania. Well, it's official, Sabrina. Your wisdom teeth are coming in crooked. I'm afraid they gotta go. Go where? I like them where they are, Dr. Grey Matter. They match the others. <laughs> no! Sorry, Sabrina. They gotta come out or the pain's just gonna get worse. But don't you worry, we have the technology to make sure you don't feel a thing. <gasps> I'll have the receptionist make an appointment for tomorrow and we'll take care of that nasty toothache once and for all. Hey, you guys, want to give me a hand here? Oh, no. I want ice cream. <gasps> You're coming with me. Stop her. Oh, stop. She's got to give. What? Hey, Sabrina. What's wrong? You look like you just saw a ghost or we're just about to have your teeth yanked out or something. Whoa. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting analogy, Harv. So, uh, what's with the new threads? My mom made this outfit for me. I'm gonna wear it during tomorrow's talent show while performing my death-defying skateboard act. Remember? Mrs. Drone on and on named you one of three judges. Yeesh, I forgot all about the talent show. Mrs. Drononanon only named me a judge because I'm like the only loser student who isn't going to be in the show. Funny, huh? I don't have any unique skills or talents of my own, so I've got to judge others. Hmm. I hear that's how it works in Hollywood. Anyway, what do you think of the outfit? Whoa! Ugh. It's, uh, real swell, Harvey. Thanks, Sabrina. Remember, just because you're my best friend, that doesn't mean you have to vote for my act at tomorrow's talent show. 
even though I've been your best friend for like ever, and even helped you pull your head out of that banister that time when we were seven. Really, no pressure. Yeah, thanks, Harv. <laughs> uh. Well, I gotta go practice my awesome act. So I'll see you later, best friend. That's if Siegfried and Roy don't mug you for that outfit first. Yow! Oh, man. Hey, there's my favorite friend, the judge. Check this. Huh? Gotta work on that move. Uh, Chloe, what are you doing? Just giving the coolest talent show judge a little taste of tomorrow's winning act, mainly me. So what do you think? Do I got it or do I got it? Oh, yeah, you've got a real chance. Your dancing is really, uh, unique. I know you'll, uh, <laughs> blow away my fellow judges. Thanks, Sab. That's just what I wanted to hear. I'll bet. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Sabs. I gotta go rehearse. How'd I get myself into this judging thing? <laughs> Chloe's a terrible dancer, and Harvey's outfit makes him look like Liberace's crazed twin. And they're both expecting me to vote for them tomorrow? Sheesh. I wonder if I should have told him what I really thought. Nah. Yow! Ugh! And now my own teeth hate me. Oh, well. I'm gonna turn in. Thanks for listening. You two are always there for me. Good night. <sighs> watching the slideshow of Uncle Quigley's potato chip collection. Let's just cast a spell and speed this thing up. Please, please, please. Hilda, you know the rules. If we don't pass high school by mortal rules, we stay like this forever. Do you want to stay young and beautiful forever? Huh? Do you? <sighs> I'm sorry, Zell. I, I lost my head. You certainly did. Now you get first watch. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. I'll relieve you in one hour. But what about the zombie brothers? If they show up before the egg hatches, we'll just have to take a rain check. Our mortal schoolwork is more important than the biggest concert event in netherworld history. Hatch, hatch, hatch! Do you mind? How am I supposed to get my 32 naps a day with this racket going on? Ugh! I just wish this egg would hatch. We have a date with the zombie brothers to see Wickapalooza. But we can't leave till this chick's hatched. Hmm, did I hear wish it would hatch? What's going on inside that fuzzy little head? It's really such a little request. Speed up the hatching so the kitty can get in his napping. <laughs> I meant to do that. What to do, what to do, what to... Ah! Let's just cut to the chase, shall we? Your pacing is disrupting my cable reception. Of course, well, uh, here's the dilio. I'm down with the dilio, sister. I may reside in a ceramic jar, but my hearing's clear as a bell. Let's get on with it, shall we? Sure, why not? To speed a chick, to hatch and grow, takes a simple twist of a feline's tail. That's it, huh? Well, thanks! Yow! My toe! I've been so silly. People have their teeth pulled every day. There's nothing to be afraid of. Right, Dr. Grey Matter? Of course, Sabrina. Now, please, if you will just answer one question. Is it safe? Is it safe? <gasps> Sabrina, wake up! It was just a bad dream. Quigley isn't really wearing hot pants. It wasn't that bad dream. Sheesh, you let out a scream. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get any rest in this house? It's these teeth! I gotta get rid of these teeth! I thought you had an appointment tomorrow. I do, but I'm not going. I'm too scared. I've got to find another way, a simpler, less painful way. If this simpler way lets me finally get my nap in, I'm all for it. Uh, hello? Spookster? Aloha! Hey, I love the Hawaii Five-0 retro look. It's you. Save the fraudulent flattery for someone who cares, little witchling. 
I'm off the clock. Vacation time, baby. My official Netherworld Incantation Union contract allows me two weeks paid every ten incantations. By my book in this twisted house, I'm long overdue. And certainly no one deserves a vacation more than you. Did I tell you your jar is really shiny and... Cut to the chase, little lady. I've got a scareport shuttle to catch to that big broomstick to scaradize. Okay, please, just this one little favor, then be on your way. It's my wisdom teeth. Quite simply, I need them gone. Gone, you say? Ah, <laughs> oh, don't make me smile. My lips are chapped. Are these floaties? I'm not a good swimmer. Give me those. Do you want a spell or not? Yes, please. Sorry. Wisdom teeth that hurt her mouth will shrink in size as they head south. As wisdom and teeth go hand in hand, both shall vanish like these grains of sand. <gasps> <laughs> Sabrina, I've never seen anything like it. Your wisdom teeth are, well, gone. Aha! Uh -huh, great! So you don't need to pull them, eh? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Guess there's nothing to pull. Well then, if that's it, I'll see you later, Dr. Grey Matter. Thanks! Hey, is this your family? Boy, what a goofy-looking bunch. <gasps> <gasps> what I meant <laughs> is... They have really big heads. I, I, I gotta go. At least the frame's nice. Why would I say that? I mean, even if his family is kind of funny looking, I never should have said that out loud. What's wrong with me? Don't walk. Why not? What could happen? <laughs> what was I thinking? I didn't even look both ways. It's like I'm suddenly getting stupid. I feel kind of funny. Maybe I better ask Salem what's wrong with me. I'll just hitchhike home. Hitchhike? Am I crazy? Hitchhiking is like the dumbest thing anyone can do. Why would I even think of it? What's happening to me? Hey, Sap, check this out. I call it the Kinkle Half Pike. <laughs> ah! Great, Harvey. A move named after half a fish. It's fitting because half a pike fish couldn't stink as much as that lame move. Oh my gosh! Did I just say that out loud? Look, I, I gotta go. Actually, I really don't gotta go. It's just a thing you say in a moment like this to ditch a scene. Yipes! <laughs> ah! Sheesh. Seventh grade girls. Can't live with them? Can't insert a microscopic submarine full of scientists into their brains to figure out just what the heck is going on in there. <laughs> oh, look. Sabrina's hair looks like the obstacle course in this year's hamster hoedown. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny, Jem. Actually, <laughs> it is funny. Huh? Well, so, uh, oh, really? Well, did you buy that shirt somewhere nice? Because cause I like it and I wish I owned it. I can't stop saying what I'm actually thinking, no matter how horrible the truth is. Ugh, oh, Sabrina Smellman likes my sweater. I might as well give it away to the unworthy. Unworthy? Angora. Oh, soft against my skin. <laughs> hey, Sabrina, wait up! Not now, Chloe. Trust me, you don't want to talk to me. Especially if it's about your crummy dancing. Oh, I... <gasps> what are you on about, girl? I was just wondering if I could borrow your blue dress for the talent show tomorrow. Did you say crummy dancing? I... I did. I don't know why, but one thing's for sure, your butt will look huge in my blue dress. <gasps> I, look, I gotta get home, Chloe. Crummy? Big butt? Uh-uh. May I suggest when you get home, you take a long nap, Grumpy? <gasps> no time to talk. I'll be in my room. Peace out. Uh-huh. Okay, there. We did it. We hatched the chick and wrote our report. Can we go now? I guess so, and thanks for being patient, Hilda. I told you we could get through this assignment without resorting to magic. It's them! It's the Zombie Brothers! Oh, look! Something's different about Bob. Did he get a new haircut? It's hard to tell since his head fell off. Oh, look! He's screwing it back on! Wake, Wake up, Palooza, here, here we come! come. <laughs> oh, shit! your eyes here, shaking your eyes there. <laughs> huh? 
Sawing for teens. <laughs> I love this show. Salem, you gotta help me. I'm saying the wrong thing and doing the wrong thing. Ever since I used that spell to make my wisdom teeth disappear, well, it's like my smarts went with it. I'm, I'm completely brain drained. Wow. You think I'm being overly dramatic? B big ch chicken eye staring at me, always staring. Well, then again, a few restful years in a rubber room never hurt anyone. I'm losing it, man. You gotta help me. Okay, okay. It's obvious when you lost your wisdom teeth. Well, you lost your wisdom. My wisdom? Yipes! That's why I keep saying the wrong thing at the wrong time every time. Because my wisdom was in my wisdom teeth. Rule number one in your witch's handbook, all wisdom teeth dentistry must be done by mortal means. Well, rule number one in the W section under wisdom, page 25,360,001. The W section? That's a big book. I'm only up to the Bs. Double duh. Look, we need to find those wisdom teeth before you say something really unwise. Unwise? Oh no! I'm on a judging panel for a talent show tomorrow! Let's face it, no one's ever nearly as good as they think they are. If I tell people, my friends, what I really think... It'll be the end of your 12-year-old world as you know it. I can't go on like this! I can't tell people what I'm really thinking! I've got to find the spooky jar and get my teeth back the way nature intended them to be. Pain and all! We've got to crash the spooky jar's vacation! Get us there! Okay, first we gotta get to the Netherworld vacation spots. Here, let's try this spell. Seven oceans and grains of sand take us to a netherland. Where are we? Encapsulated indentured spirit shores, the seaside resort for mystical beings that live in magically cramped quarters. The foul, seemingly alive entity that haunts old milk cartons. Ouija board poltergeists. Crawl space bump in the nighters. You got your genies who reside in magic lamps. Your genies in a bottle. And of course, spooky jars. Ah, the hermit crab. Cowardly little denizen of the sea. First sign of trouble and it's right back into that little protective shell, isn't it? <laughs> pathetic. Hey, Spooky, over here, it's me and Salem. <laughs> We know you're in there. I can smell the coconutty scent of your suntan lotion. We need your help. I told you I'm on vacation, off the clock. I saw the movie Death Takes a Holiday. If he can, so can I. We're not leaving till you help us. Better put on some sunblock, because you're going to be here a long time. <laughs> He's right. We might as well settle in. We just got to wait him out. He'll come around. Interesting. <laughs> Not my floaties! Goldfish! After me! Help! Hey! I'm sinking here! Thank you. You saved my life. And usually that's followed by, is there anything I can do to repay you? Usually, but not this time. I'm still on vacation. All right then, what if I give you back this? <laughs> all right, all right, I'll do anything. Just give me back my suit. I need my wisdom teeth back. Fine by gingivitis, cavities, and plaque. What once held wisdom will now come back. Ow! Hey, it worked. They're back. Ouch! Hey, they hurt again. This is great. Ow! Hey, hon. I just wanted to wish you good luck. Oh, hey, Sabrina. You got your teeth yanked, huh? Yeah. It wasn't just a big deal, just hurt a little. Well, you seem a lot calmer. Y you're not gonna insult me again. I'm sorry, Har. I guess I was a little over the top. I was in a lot of pain, the teeth and all. You're a very talented skateboarder, Har. So you'll vote for me? 
Only if you're the best act, Harvey. I want to be fair, even if you are my best friend. And to be honest, well, maybe you could spend a little more time on some of your board tricks. Okay, that's honest. I'm not all that great, I guess, Sabrina, so that's fair. It is? Sure. You know you can always be honest with me, Sabrina. Really, Harvey? Huh? Of course, Sabrina. I can take whatever you want to tell me. I'm a big boy, okay? Well, uh, then I gotta tell you, I really think that silly outfit's gotta go. It's really lame. My outfit? Uh, but I love this outfit! My mommy made this shirt! <laughs> Harvey! I... Who am I to judge? May, maybe I'm wrong. I... Just kidding, Sabrina. <laughs> I think the outfit's silly, too. I was just waiting for someone to confirm it for me. Thanks. First contestant, Harvey Kinkle and his death-defying skateboard act. I'm up. See you, Sabrina. Go get him, Harv. You really still think I have a chance? <gasps> Chicken! Gee, Sabrina, I appreciate your newfound honesty and everything, but you don't have to call me Nate. Big chicken! It, look, I just have never done my tricks in front of this big a crowd, okay? I... The big ch chicken, ch ch chicken! Fine. All right, Sabrina, I'll show you. I am no big chicken. Huh? I am no big chicken! Hey, ours is pretty good. Dum de dum dum dum. I'm getting ready for wrestling tryouts today. So, is the egg salad power chaw a new type of event? The eggs are to help me bulk up. Protein is the building block of muscle. If rippling slabs of muscle don't do the trick, I've loaded up on good luck charms. Check it out. I've got a rabbit's foot, a lucky stone, and a feather. I even gave myself a wrestling name, Harvzilla. Harvzilla, huh? No, oh, what's the use? I'm not gonna make the team. It'll be just like last year. No, it won't. You're tons bigger this year. <laughs> sort of. Come on. <laughs> Well, hello. It's so nice to finally have someone around here to talk to. It gets so lonely. Oh, sure, there's always the house flies, but they're not much for conversation. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. <laughs> Boring. Want to see pictures of my kids? I have 700. Go, Harzilla. Ow. Shrimpzilla. Shrimpzilla. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Shrimpzilla. <laughs> Winner, Slugloaf. Loser, Kinkle. But I ate eggs. I practiced. Practiced? You think Patton practiced the Siege of Bastogne? You think our brave Jireens practiced taking Hamburger Hill? You think the Army practiced putting the lead plate in my forebrain? Uh, what was my point? Your forebrain, sir. Right. My point is, the last two words in American are I can. And unfortunately, in your case, son, you can't. Oh, don't be sad. Maybe you can join the cocktails. The cocktails? Yeah, I hear they're looking for a bunch of shrimp. <laughs> Harvey? Oh. Look, 
Harvey. I know you're upset, but you have lots of talents. Sure, some people are better at wrestling because they're bigger, but you're better at little guy things. Like what? Like, um, you could be a kindergarten teacher, for instance, or a puppeteer, a florist. Um, what I'm trying to say is... Yummy! Why don't you just say it? I'm too scrawny. I'll never be anything more than a tiny little nothing. I'll see you someday. Ugh. Ow! Watch where you're going! Shrimpzilla! Want to bounce, must fight the impulse. But the siren call of the rubber mousey beckons. Oh. Can't oh. work, wait. <laughs> this is important. Sabrina, I have to concentrate. This pencil is recording my thoughts. And writing our English paper. Then why is the only thing it says, Hilda loves Andy Fickman? Oh, uh, must be some kind of cosmic interference. <laughs> now it says he's a hot hunk of taffy? Stop reading! Now it says stop reading? I mean it! Now it says... You better not! Besides, I don't think that's physically possible. All right, Hilda. My turn. Oh, sweet supple rodent, thou art a cruel mistress. Please, I don't know what to do. Look, Sabrina, give it time. Harvey will grow. But he's unhappy now. He won't even leave his house. Can I use a spooky jar? You know the rules. Never use spooky jar magic, especially to interfere with a mortal's natural life. Well, what's <laughs> the point of having cool magical powers if you can't abuse them? Hmm, she's got us there. Look, I know it's tough, but Harvey will pull through. Trust me. Are you sure? As sure as that pencil is writing on that paper. Rubber Mousy! Oof. Huh? All right, both of you out! Poor Harvey. He really needs my support. What do you think, Salem? I think that in retrospect, a rubber eraser probably wasn't worth such acute mental anguish. That's not what I meant. Look, if you want to help the mortal, use the spooky jar. I can't. Not after Zelda told me specifically not to. Then how are we going to do it? I don't know. I know just who can help with your problem. I owe Newt. I owe who? Newt, the spell doctor who lives in the basement. There's a spell doctor in our basement? Shh, don't tell anyone. But I got an arrangement. He pays me a little cha-ching cha-ching and I let him live down there. But isn't that dangerous? Exactly. Exactly what? Exactly why I don't want you to tell anyone. Excuse me, Newton! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Look who decided to visit poor old Newt. About time. Actually, I've got a request. Oh, a request. You know, wouldn't kill a cat to stop down here every now and again to say hi. Because I'm down here 24-7. I know. Oh, by my lonesome. <laughs> Look, Newt, this is business. I brought Sabrina. Hi, Mr. Newt. Ah, a witch! Yeah, go away! What's the matter? Oh, just something about the most common ingredient in witch spells being Eye of Newt. Then why do you live in a house full of witches? It's rent controlled. Listen, Newt, we'll be out of your hair in a second, but Sabrina needs your help. She's having a problem. It's my friend Harvey. He's a little guy who wants to make the wrestling team. I want a spell to make him stronger, buffer, Bigger. 
bigger. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Dead Sea Scroll. I should probably return that. Ah! Ta da! Dragon Spray! Hey, careful! Careful! Uh, that's powerful stuff! Uh, give it here! Use only one spritz. It's very concentrated. And that should be more than enough. Oh, no. Hey, Hard. I've got a surprise for you. It's good luck cologne for wrestling tryouts. Newsflash, tryouts are over. I was the loser, remember? Well, you should try again. Why? So more people can laugh at me? No, thanks. Okay, I'll try it, but just for you. Shrimpzilla. <laughs> it just gets funnier each time. Hey, Slugloaf. Harvey, what are you doing? Hey, I'm talking to you, fish bait. What's the matter? You can't hear me with all that stupid clogging up your ears? I'm gonna slice you into kinkle cut fries! Not today, Sluglo. No! Oh! oh. Say, Uncle! Who's next? Oh, looks like there's a new champ wrestler in town. And his name is Harvey Kinkle. Me? How'd you like to be on the starting team, son? I'd love to. Oh. Carry my notebook? Nope, don't got the time. But Harvey. What part of nope don't you understand? Huh? Jeez, Harvey. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but weren't you just a little mean to Jem? Look, Sabrina, I've got a lot on my mind, okay? Listen, tonight's a big match, and can I have another spritz of that lucky cologne? It worked so well before. I'm not sure that's a... Come on, Sabrina, just once more. The whole school will be there tonight. It's a big match. All right, just one more. Hey, Kinkle. I know I hate you, but nice match yesterday. Don't you ever touch me. Sure, only one spritz is suggested, but uh, two shouldn't hurt him. But he sure was acting funny. He'll be fine. After all, he's a full-grown man. <laughs> he's not full-grown. He's a 12-year-old. 12? <laughs> he's 12? Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me? I did. Well, you should have known better than to trust a one-eyed newt to remember something. What do I do? Just give me the spray so he can't get anymore. It'll mix with his growing hormones and he may never be normal again. <laughs> but it's in my locker at school. I gotta go. 
Luck, luck, come on, luck. Saddle up, lock and load. Time to face the enemy. Got rabbit's foot, four leaf clover. Need luck, need more luck. Lucky cologne. Her locker, I can smell it. gonna get in trouble. Don't make me angry! You won't like me when I'm angry. movie. That's all. No need to be afraid. <gasps> it's all make-believe. Now go to sleep. and he's coming for dragon spray. <laughs> you said no to the spooky jar, so I asked for help from the magic newt that lives in the basement. There's a magic newt living in our basement? No kidding. Man, this is one nutty house. I'll explain later. Okay, Hilda and I will take care of the stuff in the basement. You go face Harvey and try to remind him who he really is. Will that work? I don't know. This is my first boy-turned-dragon-related experience too, Sabrina. <laughs> Prayed for. Man, the launcher. And to think they all laughed at me for blowing my pension on this puppy. Aim! Fire! Anywho, Mike claimed that he and that lady wolf spider were just friends, but Marta was having none of it. She spun a cocoon and devoured him right on the spot. Oh. 
Humans can be so rude. No offense. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Now, I don't like to gossip, but according to this blue tail fly who is extremely reliable, it turns out Marta was seeing that June bug from Dubuque all last mating season. <gasps> Scandalous. <laughs> Sabrina, give me more spray! Ugh, egg salad breath. I asked for visitors and this is what I get. Come on, only two more jugs left. Why do you have so much of this stuff? I'm a little guy with a Napoleon complex. Everything's going to be okay, Harvey. I remember being a dragon, and I was mean to all my friends. Even you, Sabrina. No more of that good luck cologne for me, Sabrina. I think I'm allergic. I'm sorry, Harvey. You know, I was just watching Monster That Rampaged Havana. I have to say, that surround TV sure does surround. Uh, were you watching it out here, too? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's go help rebuild the city. Come on, I'll start with the windows. My dad's got the Ancient Rome. That's right, boys and girls. It's time for everyone's favorite pastime, book reports. Oh, no! Yay! <sighs> hmm. uh, I mean, boo! Boo! Okay, everyone, partner up. We're writing these in groups of two. Hi, Harvey. Partner? Not so fast, Spellman. Harvey's my partner. Hey. Since when? Since now. Huh? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> That's what I said. What you say doesn't matter. It's what... I say. Huh? And since you two seem to be having so much trouble picking partners, I'll do it. Harvey, your partner's with... Bernard? <gasps> yes! Sabrina, your partner's with... Jim. <gasps> no! no! Hmm, I know I said you girls could redecorate, but this is a little much. Yeah? Oh, eye patch. And it is, it is a glorious <laughs> thing to be a pirate king. <laughs> You'll find I'm not so easily bought, girls. Someone will pay dearly for this indignity. We'll give you some time to get used to it while we work on the upstairs. <laughs> upstairs? 
You better not touch my litter box. I'm doomed. My life is over. It was nice knowing you. Say goodbye to my history grade. What's the matter, Sabrina? What's the matter, Sabrina? Our matey, Miss Luce, made me team up with Jim to write our report. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Doesn't sound so bad? Doesn't sound so bad. Nobody asked you. Jem is the most annoying person in all of middle school. She talks annoying, she looks annoying, she even breathes annoying. To think that I had to team up with someone like her? Sabrina, sometimes we have to deal with people that we'd rather not. Then, what's your point? The point is, Jem may bring something to the table that you've never thought of. Uh, I don't know. Huh? Look at it this way. You're gonna have to do it anyway. Why not give getting along a shot? Give it a shot! Okay, maybe you're right. But will you promise me one thing? What's that? Jem's gonna be here in five minutes. Can we lose the seashore? Hmm? Hmm? Hey, some of us are trying to tan here. Hi, Jem. Come on in. Spare me. I figured we could work in the kitchen. Look, Smellman, I'm only here because I have to be. If you want to work on the roof, that's fine with me. As long as you promise to jump off when we're done. Work together, work together. Take a breath and count to ten. Gemstone isn't worth stressing over. And by the way, that is the ugliest cat I've ever seen in my life. Turn her into a mouse and leave the rest to me. Ahem. Meow. Look, Jem, we've been glaring at each other for over an hour, and it's not getting the report done. Hey, I've been ready. <coughs> The ancient Colosseum was used by the Romans for gladiatorial combat. Ugh, your voice is grating. I'll read. It's my house. I read. Hey, either I read or there's no reading. Ugh. Don't look at me. I said turn her into a mouse. Where'd you put the book, Jem? Nuh-uh. Not unless I can read. Hmm. Oh, no! Tell me you didn't hide it in the spooky... uh, cookie jar? You're not getting it back. <gasps> no! <gasps> What's happened? Ah! Arg! Say love, help us! Holy monkeys, what happened? Ah! She put a book in the spooky jar! She put a mortal object in the spooky jar? Oh, no! She caused a tesseract! A what? A rupture in the fourth dimension. Time! <coughs> What's the book about? Why? What was the book? I sure hope it wasn't 20,000 leagues under the sea. Yeah! Sabrina, you tore the book in half. I think that's the least of our worries. Yeah! Did your <gasps> cat just talk? Look out! Ah! <gasps> yeah! Phew. Huh? Ah, ancient Rome. Ulla vecchia Roma. I refuse to believe we're in ancient Rome. The cat talks and speaks fluent Latin. You'd think you could give him the benefit of the doubt here? Look, Jem, before you freak out, let me explain. Oh, I see what's going on, Spellman. Huh? You do? You think I'm stupid? A bright flash, a talking cat, ancient Rome. Last week, I wished on a star to rule the world. Obviously, some higher power has chosen to grant my humble request. You wish to rule the world? Oh, look! Shopping! Gotta admit, the kid thinks big. Jem, wait! I'll take two of these necklaces and a bottle of... 
What's this? Perfume? Unguent of beaver lips. Oh, um, on second thought, no thanks. Do you take plastic? Huh? Wow, you are ancient. Well, don't worry. I've come from the future. Hey! Jen, listen to me. You've got to try to fit in a little more. We're going to get in trouble. Never mess with the stone when she's shopping. Jem, I'm serious. There she is! Thief! Thief? Oh, silly ancient one. I was going to pay you. Here. Do you have change for a 50? Paper money? There's no such thing as paper money. In fact, there's no such thing as paper. Come with me. You're going to jail. Um, I don't think so. See, I'm a princess from the future who has come to rule you charming little diaper-wearing primitives. <gasps> Jem, stop it! Princess, we only answer to one ruler. Caesar, ruler of the world. Caesar, huh? Take me to Caesar. Maybe we can go halvesies on this whole world thing. Okay, Jem, I'll just catch up with you later then. Whoa. <laughs> Hang tight, I'll follow you. Don't worry, this will all work out. Giddy up! I hope. Meow, meow! Hmm. Um, I, I mean, meow, me, 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 me. I came, I saw, I meowed. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, goody. You're such a lamb to bring me my tea, Brutus. I found these two in the bazaar, Your Majesty. They say they're from the future. Ooh, from the future. Bring them closer. Those are strange robes and sandals. If you're from the future, tell me what it's like. Well, let's see. You're boring me. Bored, bored, bored. How's this? Tell me of the future right now, or I'll send you to the dungeon. Right. Um, we have, um, uh, cars. <gasps> cars. Cars. Oh, I do like the sound of that. Uh, tell me, future girl, what is this car of which you speak? It's like a carriage, but you don't need horses. <laughs> then how does it move? From its engine, I guess. I don't really know. You just put gas in it and it works. And you hit the pedals. Um, we also have potato chips that come in a can. Bow down, Ancient One. I am your new princess. Bow to the light. A mini lantern. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> nice job, Jem. Like you were doing any better. I don't know how it works. Hey, you're the one who got us into this mess. That's it. It's go time, you and me. You better jump. Yeah! Oh, good show, good show! How terribly diverting! Shall I take them to the dungeon, sir? No, they're a spunky pair. Take them to the Colosseum to battle against each other as gladiators! Alleged future girl versus alleged future girl! A fight to the finish! He wasn't talking about us, was he? Hottis Dogisus, let loose the dogs of Hot, and cursed be him that cries, Hold the mustard! It's a good thing we're gladiators, because I'm going to gladiate you. You don't stand a chance. Behold the training chamber of doom! <laughs> Recruits, they are to fight a day from tomorrow. <gasps> okay, new friends, the coast is clear. Hi! Oh, charming oh, to you. Oh, 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 oh
Lovely nice to see You're you. just in time for tea and crumpets. And after that, huh? puppet huh? shows. Stop pushing against me, Jem. Hey, there's more where that came from. Whoa, <laughs> you two are spunky. Careful, someone might get hurt. What do you mean? Isn't hurting each other your job? <laughs> Goodness gracious, not at all. You see, Caesar really just wants to be entertained. And if he had his way, why, we wouldn't last more than one match. We figured out long ago that the best thing to do is work together. Put on a good act, rotate costumes, and everybody's happy. For instance, take old Slim here. See, Stan there's strong, but he's slow. And Slim here is fast. Go! Oh! <laughs> but he tires easy. So we worked out a system. We use both of our talents to make it a heck of a fine match, and nobody gets hurt. What about the fans? Oh, they know it's a fake. They just like the drama. Gosh, oh, Hemlock, everyone but Caesar knows it. <laughs> well, I'm not working with her. And I'm not working with her. Oh, we'll see about that. In the meantime... <laughs> Slacking. No, Kid Toki. Now, remember, work together to choreograph your moves. When it's done right, it's like a dance. Here, Slim and I'll show you. No, oh, I can't see. I'm blind. Now you try. Remember, it's about timing. Okay, I'm... I kind of like this. Hey, I wasn't ready. Hmm. All righty, so you didn't do so well with the staffs. Let's try some simple acrobatics. What I'm about to show you is Caesar's favorite move. It's called the Legionnaire Flip. <gasps> now, this is where the crowd usually cheers for me. Now, your turn. I think you understand the basics of what we're trying to teach you here. I understand. Basically, I'm going to stomp her good. <laughs> Girls, listen to me. This is serious. If Caesar thinks you're faking it, he'll make you fight for real. Good. Better. Best. Better than best. Better than better than best. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get sent to Rome, not Egypt. Cats were sacred there. Salem! Good news. The time portal is still open. For how much longer? I don't know. They tend to stay open until the most dramatic moment, which is pretty soon if you don't get out of here. That would be easy if we could get out of our lousy cells. Slip through these bars up here. Just give each other a boost. No way. I'm not boosting her. She'll leave me behind in a hot second. Like you wouldn't. Stop being babies and work it out. We don't have much time. I'd rather sit in prison than trust Jem. <gasps> ah! It's time for your battle. To the dressing rooms. Good. Oh, no. If we don't get to that portal, we'll be stuck here forever. <laughs> Do oh, I think this should be a rip dilly of a fight, eh, too, Brute? <gasps> Friends, Romans, uh, Shriners from Local 137, I present to you for your salacious enjoyment a fight to the finish! <laughs> Other 
corner, the other girl, allegedly from the future, the pungent princess. Yikes! <gasps> ah. I must break you. Take your best shot. Let's get ready to go. With. I'm not falling for that, Spellman. <gasps> oh no! You're right! What do we do? We should have listened to the trainers! Okay, work with me here. I'll take a swing at your legs and you jump. Careful! <laughs> Something is wrong here. For some reason, I'm not enjoying the battle. Ooh! Ooh, they're breaking! Ah! That's it! Ah! Fakers! Fakers! Nobody deceives Caesar! I'm deceit-proof! Guards, seize them! Save your lives! to grab that rope. I can't reach it. <gasps> open the door! Open the door! I can't reach it! To the move! You're not gonna get me back, are you? We're a team. Trust me! No, oh, the Legionnaire flip! <laughs> I love that move! Bravo! A good show! I mean, slice them up into tiny pieces. It's not moving. I'm too light. Whoa. I was busy moving half a ton of hay. This way! They see us! Think of something! I don't understand. Everything's the same as when we came through. Wait a second. We ripped the book in half. And the book is what brought us here. Of course! That's Tesseract 101. Fix the book! Jem, if this doesn't work, I'm sorry. Me too. Up and put those. Oh, poo. Perfect, Jen. This will be an A plus for sure. How's that book report coming? We just finished it. Isn't that right, partner? That's right, partner. Of course, you do realize it'll have to tell everyone at school that we went back in time. And you have a talking cat. I know. One brain rinse, fluff and fold coming up. Ugh, I just had the worst dream. I dreamt that, that, oh, never mind. Can I leave your stupid house now, Spellman? We're done with the report. Sure, Jem, whatever you say. Now! 